Uh, thank you, President. My question is for the Minister for Health. At a recent voluntary assisted dying information session, the chair of the government's implementation task force stated that two GPs could not complete a certification process as one of them must be, quote, a specialist in the terminal disease under consideration, unquote. That advice is not in fact what the Act says. It says that at least one of the two doctors must have relevant experience and expertise in the particular terminal illness, not that they must be a specialist. A GP can have relevant experience and expertise in some conditions. Most terminal diseases will come up for consideration, that come up for consideration will be malignancies, heart complications or neurodegenerative diseases, leaving a very limited number of doctors termed as specialists available for an opinion. My question is, knowing that officials in charge of this process are using their own understanding of the wording in the Act, how will you ensure that the legislation is being interpreted correctly? Minister. Uh, thank you, and I thank uh, the member for, uh, for her question. And I know she's been very busy today doing a bit of media uh, around, uh, around the uh, assisted dying scheme. Um, the, uh, the assisted dying scheme, members would be aware, uh, is commencing soon, um, just in, in fact in a few weeks' time on the 19th of June. And there has been uh, a great deal of work um, undertaken in the 18 months since the legislation passed um, the parliament. Uh, to ensure that we get uh, every aspect of the implementation uh, right. And, and I want to uh, pay credit to and acknowledge uh, the support of uh, members present who uh, supported um, this groundbreaking legislation uh, to, uh, that will enable Victoria to be the first jurisdiction in Australia uh, to, give, um, to give patients uh, in those very uh, difficult circumstances the choice, uh, choice um, uh, uh, around um, end of life care um, and, and not taking away uh, in any way from other choices that will continue to exist uh, for patients. And in fact, uh, if you look at the state budget handed down uh, last week, we have put in a very significant uh, amount of funding for palliative care, uh, which will continue uh, in, in all likelihood to be uh, the end of life ch uh, choices that um, the vast majority of, of people will con uh, continue to make. Um, as, as part of the um, implementation, um, uh, the, uh, uh, there have been a, a number of navigators uh, that have been employed uh, that are available to patients, uh, but also to clinicians. Uh, to uh, make contact with and, and seek advice about um, uh, medical practitioners in their uh, uh, locality uh, um, who have the uh, requisite, um, who have undertaken the requisite training uh, and have the requisite um, expertise to assist them uh, with these decisions. Um, and in fact, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased to inform the member that there have been a uh, considerable increase in the number of clinicians who have been undertaking the relevant training uh, in, uh, in recent weeks as, uh, as we're getting closer to the start date. I guess the, the interest has been heightened uh, and I think there will continue to be uh, a continued interest amongst clinicians um, even once this has commenced and I think over the period of time we will see more and more uh, uptake uh, around these issues. Uh, look, I, I think it is absolutely important that uh, people are given um, information that is accurate. Um, there's been a, a vast array of resources and tools that have been prepared to support both uh, patients, their family members and, uh, and clinicians. Uh, uh, with uh, these uh, these uh, issues, um, uh, including uh, videos that that the member might be aware um, have been produced, so I'm very happy to um, to sit down with the member and have a discussion about specific concerns that she might have, because the last thing I want to be Thank doing you, uh, is to increasing the anxiety that some people might have. Uh, Miss Patton, on a supplementary. Yeah, thank you, President, and, th and thank you, Minister, and I absolutely concur. The work that's been done in in this last 18 months has been really great and, and, and attending that implementation conference, I was greatly impressed by the, the careful consideration that's been made. But I think just going back to that, that point that the imp information does say that it must be a specialist and cannot be two GPs, I, I, would, I would ask the Minister if, if she did, was able to, to seek some clarification on that because, as we all know, we spent many hours dissecting this legislation very carefully. It was scrutinised 
um, as, as we all, many of us, remember, um, at, at great length and in great detail. And I think, in, in actual fact, that was very helpful. Um, a lot of it was very helpful, let's just say that. Um, so my first further question is, how will, the, how will the secretary in charge of the voluntary assisted dying process establish that one of the two certifying doctors has relevant experience and expertise in the terminal illness, which is what the Act says, uh, rather thank, than thank being you. a specialist? Minister. Look, there, there is a, a review panel um, that uh, the member would be aware will be examining uh, these matters um, uh, uh, after the event. Um, uh, and that's to ensure that there is um, uh, demonstrated um, expertise. The uh, second GP would need to be able to demonstrate required specialised experience. Uh, look, I, I'm very happy to sit down with the member and have a discussion around uh, where um, different information is circulating around these issues because I think it's really important and this is why I guess I'm, I'm being very cautious in what I'm saying about these matters, um, that we not uh, uh, um, uh, have... Uh, misinformation uh, circulating about the implementation and the operation of this legislation. Very happy to examine what more can be done uh, in this space and if there is um, any further guidance that needs to be provided to, ha to have a look at what uh, further uh, advice needs to be provided to clinicians working in this field. Um, so I'll, I undertake to have a discussion with the member in relation to these issues that have uh, arisen. Thank you.